Ah, the Pacific Northwest. Known for its coffee, lively fish markets, thriving music scene, and lots and lots of rain. Oh, and one other thing. Really cold, in fact. So you're probably thinking, you gotta be crazy to go scuba diving in that water. Well, call me crazy. And call this guy crazy too. That's my buddy Cameron. And what we're about to do might seem a little bit nuts. We're on Bainbridge Island, right across from Seattle, and we're about to go diving in the Puget Sound. It's actually a lot more popular than you might think. Nevertheless, I'm a tad nervous. Okay, here we are. Uh, diving the Puget Sound. This is the furthest north I will ever have dove in in my life. And uh, you might be thinking, sounds cold. I am expecting it to be cold. And it just started raining. Cameron is either undeterred or totally oblivious to ambient conditions right now. I don't know why I'm sitting under a tree while it's raining, but right before we go diving, it's not like I'm afraid of getting even more wet. Three, one, three, zero. He's also a lot more familiar Hola. with this area than me. <laughs> oh, Lily. Now Cameron has dove up here before, so he knows what to expect. Uh, I gotta admit, I'm being a bit of a cold wimp. Go ahead, make fun of me. Don't be a poopy pants, Darren. No poopy pants diving. I might poop my pants, we'll see. Anyway, we expect to see some cool stuff. Uh, I'm hoping to see wolf eel. Wolf eels. Uh, what else? Steve eels. Steve eels. Kevin eels. Jeff, Jeff eels. eels. <laughs> uh, and hopefully some, um, let's see, some giant metridiums. And also some, um, what else? Huge octopus. Octopus, that's right. The big draw for diving up here is the octopus, and that's uh, number one on my list. Giant is to dive Pacific octopus -y. With giant Pacific octopus. Walking across a whole bunch of loose, slippery rocks with 50 pounds of gear on your back, by the way, ain't easy. A good description for what it feels like when you submerge your face into 48 degree water would be kind of like a very loud high-pitched scream, but I'll save you that for now. Making things a little bit worse, the dive master has stopped to help Cameron adjust his weight. When you're sitting in cold water and not moving, you get even colder. And with that problem solved, we're on our way into pea soup. Yeah, crystal clear waters of Bali, this ain't. But I've seen worse. What I've never seen before is this, a bunch of dead Dungeness crabs. No idea why. This fancy pants sea cucumber is new to me too. Pretty cool, huh? And if I could just get camera to hold the flashlight correctly, I could show you the nudibranchs as well. All right, there's a live Dungeness crab. Where's the garlic butter? And here, my friends, is a metridium. They are one of the tallest and most elegant anemones of the Pacific, and they're only found in very cold water. But trust me, I don't need to see a metridium to know how frickin' freezing I am. Hello, Mr. Dungeness Crab. Allow me to introduce you to the wonders of garlic butter. Boop! Part of the allure of diving in the Pacific Northwest is that experience of it being this otherworldly, enigmatic, mysterious place. Almost like exploring another planet. A very cold planet, that is. Oh, that freight train sound you keep hearing, by the way? That's a ferry. Yeah, they're not too far from us. And that's a sea cucumber. Apparently, the dive master has found something really interesting. Let's check it out. It is indeed interesting, and one of the things I was really crossing my fingers to see. It's a giant Pacific octopus. But unfortunately, she does not want to come out and play, and all my camera seems to be able to focus on is that piece of kelp. Let's slow that down so you can see her. There she is, right there. There's the money shot. No wonder there's so many dead crabs around here. Yeah, you better run. You are not safe here, pal. Okay, so how cold was it out there? Cold enough for me to say, uh-uh, to dive number two. But Cameron's still out there, so I'm waiting for him. Uh, it's been about an hour for me, I'm finally dry. Finally getting the feeling back in my fingertips. When I do this again, I will come back with a dry suit, 
on a sunny day and uh, hire a team of people to make hot toddies waiting for me on shore. And Cameron's dad showed up with a nice warm minivan and a thermos full of hot toddies. This ended well. There are numerous reasons to travel to Seattle and the Pacific Northwest, including its vibrant culture, stunningly green scenery, and its surprisingly diverse and authentic food scene. But Dr. Cameron and I both agree that scuba diving the Puget Sound should be added to your to-do list while there. And not just so you can drool over the bountiful Dungeness crabs, but also for all the hidden treasures, those intricate, delicate creatures you'd otherwise miss. Just be sure to bring the right equipment, stay warm, and have someone waiting on shore with a nice hot drink. <laughs>